Is Manus a GPT rapper? No, but it's a cloud rapper. But before you dismiss this video saying that this is just a rapper, I'm going to give you the internals of how Manus works so that you can appreciate what goes behind in building such an autonomous AI agent that can work as flawlessly as Manus. A Twitter user, Jian, figured out that Manus is nothing but a Claude wrapper. So it's got Claude Sonnet with 29 tools. These are the tools that the LLM has got access to. It also uses browser use, which is a way to emulate a browser within LLM usage. So now this entire thing made the internet feel that this is just a simple GPT wrapper kind of an application, but built on top of Claude Sonnet. So people were starting to dismiss that Manus is nothing but just a simple wrapper. But then the co-founder of Manus came to the same thread and then gave a very detailed response that made everybody understand what goes behind in building something like this. For each and every session, it creates its own sandbox and every sandbox that it creates, the session sandbox is completely isolated from other user session. If you and I are using Manus at the same time, then you have a different Ubuntu sandbox and I've got a different Ubuntu sandbox. So users can enter the sandbox directly through Manus's interface. And that is how people figure out what goes behind inside Manus's file system. So the next Manus requires it to use a certain tools at certain points. How do they achieve it? The founder also mentioned that this is an edited, a slightly modified version of a very popular framework called Code Act. So Code Act, there are two different ways you can make an LLM agent. So one is you can just give text and then ask the LLM to go do certain tasks. So here, everything that you're discussing is through text and then through JSON. But what if you can turn that into a computer program because LLMs can write computer programs and computer programs are really good with uh, expressing what an objective task should be. So this is a framework that is called Code Act. I think I might have done a paper review of this. If not, I'll link the paper in the YouTube description for you to go through it. So once there is a human input, then it the LLM in this case thinks, and then it creates an action which in the form of computer program, and then that computer program gets executed. So this is Code Act. And Manus is using some sort of code act, not exactly the same, a slightly modified version of code act. So if somebody is trying to jailbreak Manus, then they will get the tool description. And in fact, this particular user, Jian, who broke a Manus's jailbreak, he also shared the entire prompt. He shared the entire description about what kind of tools that it is using and what kind of, uh, you know, access that it has got with the different tools. There is like file and find and content, file find by name. And there are like different sort of functions that are available and Manus is making those function calls. The next most interesting thing of this entire reveal is that there is a multi-agent implementation. So until this point, everybody thought it's a simple wrapper on top of Claude Sonnet. So there is no multi-agent implementation. The co-founder here in this case confirmed that Manus has got a multi-agent implementation. So when you're messaging with Manus, you only communicate with the executor agent, which itself does not know or does not have any details of the knowledge or planner or other agents. So typically you've got a knowledge agent, you've got a planner agent, and then you've got an executor agent. But when you chat with Manus, you're directly chatting with the executor agent. And this really helps them to control the context length. One of the biggest problems that you have with using LLMs as agent is that you very quickly end up filling the context window of an LLM. And one of the ways that they are avoiding this particular pitfall is by saying that, okay, whenever you chat with Manus, you're directly communicating or only communicating with the executor agent, not necessarily with the knowledge or planner or any other agent. And that is exactly why any prompt that you get through Manus's jailbreaking could be hallucination. They acknowledge that they're using browser use and which is a very popular library. I think YC funded also. And they also said that they're going to make sure that they're going to do a series of acknowledgements and collaboration. And the most important thing is that they also have plans to open source few things. I'm not sure if it is going to be a model, but he himself acknowledged that he has got a uh, post training models open sourced and hugging face himself. So overall, it seems that Manus has got a very interesting combination of things that makes it a really reliable agent, autonomous agent. One interesting aspect that was shared elsewhere is that currently Manus uses Claude 3.5 Sonnet, not the latest model Claude 3.7 not the latest thinking model, the Claude 3.7 thinking model. So it uses Claude 3.5 Sonnet and different Quen fine tunes. The reason is because when they started building Manus, at the time only Claude 3.5 Sonnet was available and Claude 3.7 is something that they started using. So with 3.5, they started using 3.5 and also they were using a couple of 
auxiliary models probably powered by quaint fine tunes and they're trying 3.7 so probably manus might get more and more powerful with when they start using cloud 3.7 but this entire saga reveals one important thing which is this is a promising set for open source models it's not black magic it's not something you know they've trained their own model this is not the deep seek moment like influencers are marketing it this is definitely something that open source can achieve and i can't wait to try out open source alternatives that are almost same like manus i hope this was helpful to you in understanding how an agent architecture would look like let me know what you feel about it do you really think that this is just a simple cloud wrapper or do you think that there is good science that and uh, science and engineering that has gone behind this let me know in the comment section see you in another video happy prompting